the SQL adapter, the uh, the SQL data adapter is the object that goes, let's say, inside that pipe and communicates to the server and brings information back. Uh, the data set is the uh, it's an object that it's instantiated in memory and then you can keep the information that you retrieve for the data set you can put that information into a data set okay and now we actually we actually need something to display that information so well actually let's go ahead and, tr and try this okay so form event uh, let's do the load again let's use the load event and what we're gonna do here is called the um, data adapter dot fill method and so what's going to what this is going to do is is going to go to the server is it keep this uh, the SQL statement right here select all from table contacts and it's going to put it somewhere and then we're going to say that it's going to be it's going to be put inside the our data set and also we can call it something so I'm just going to call table contacts okay um, another thing that you can do too, if you don't remember all this, um, you can go into Server Explorer in here, um, and then you can add. Let's see, data connections. Yeah, I know there's a way to do that. Oh, is th th oh, that is it. It's right in there. So this is our table right here. So that's one way to look at your. Um, Data, data server and the tables and fields that you have. But okay, let's try. Let's try to go ahead and run this. So I'm going to press uh, start debugging here, and my form came up with no errors, and so I'm assuming that the data set got populated. But I need some place to display that information. That's, that the information right now is in memory, right? So what I'm going to use here, I'm going to go back into the form designer, and I'm going to use a tool uh, called the data grid. So I'm going to put this in my form here. Snap it there. And I'm going to call this DG just for data grid. Okay, so for, for the sake of simplicity. So once I have my data set field filled with information from the data adapter, I'm going to display that information. And so I'm going to say that my data grid dot data source equals my data set. And a data set has a collection of tables in there. So I'm going to call my data set tables. And I'm going to say that the table that I want to use is the one that I created up there, table contacts. Right? So let's try this one more time. Now let's uh, start debugging. And look at that. Now I have my contact ID, first name, last name, email, and phone number. So now I'm displaying what I had only in memory before. Okay. Um, and I can actually go ahead and then enter information in here. Let's do first name Joe Doe, and we'll call it JD at email.com, and phone number, just anything. Now, we don't have any method to save this back to the, uh, to the, uh, to the SQL Server right now. All the changes that we're making right now are changes making to the data greatest only. Okay, we're not, this is just on the GUI level. So, um, Mary Doe, so MD and at anyplace.com, phone number. Once I exit and I run my project one more time, I'm not going to see any of that information because I didn't, I didn't persist that information back into my server. So, to be able to do that, to be able to save information back to the server, we need uh, we need another ADO uh, object called a SQL command. So let's go ahead and in instantiate that. Um, SQL command builder. Actually, we're going to do a builder first. SQL command builder and new SQL command builder. And what this is, it's this is a this is a very very handy tool. Um, let me put that data adapter in there. And what that does, by this initial, with the initial SQL statement, um, it looks at the schema of your database and it creates commands for you such as insert, delete, and update. Um, so it's very, very handy. Um, let me go ahead. So now that we have a SQL command builder, 
and we put our data set in there. So it's going to create um, the SQL statements for that data adapter. I'm going to go ahead and put a button in here in our GUI. And I'm going to call it BTN update. Update, save, same thing. Actually, not the same thing, but we'll make it the same thing. Okay, very good. So once we have that data set inside the builder, now we can call a few things here. Let's do um, data adapter dot update command is going to equal to our SQL command builder object. So cmd dot cmb. I'm sorry, cmb dot get update command okay so once we have that we are able to actually save it back to the SQL server now so I'm going to call the data adapter dot update method now and I'm going to say update the data set dot table TBL contacts okay missing one parenthesis there so once we have this, let's try to do the same thing again. I'm going to go ahead and start to debug here. And I'm going to enter first name. I'm going to say Joe, Joe, JD at email.com. There's a phone number. I'm going to go to the next record. Mary Doe, MD at email.com. Another phone number. And now let's call the update method. Um, now we didn't program anything to give us any feedback so that's all we get right now is press update and that's all we get so let's go ahead and then take a look um, to see if it got saved by just running the project again look at that now we have that information saved into the server just to prove that I'm gonna go ahead and close this I'm gonna go back to my SQL server here and I'm gonna open that ADO practice tables and I'm going to query well I didn't want to edit but well you could see it there anyways select top 1000 rows and there, there you get there you have it you have a bunch of uh, you have those our two records that we created in there um, so that's it I hope this was helpful um, there are a lot of things that you can do here um, you should be actually you should be using the the, the try catch in here in places but since we have very limited time uh, you know it's hard to program everything in the in, in the perfect way um, not that I can do that and with all the time in the world anyways um, you know actually let me just go over one more thing here that, you, that we should do since since when you, when we are we're updating we get no feedback we can do this we can do just follow me here really quick So now we're actually going to have some feedback because when this, when when this get when this gets called the uh, the update uh, method of the data uh, of the data adapter, it actually brings back it gives you it gives you the number of columns that were affected back. So we can capture the number of, by number the number of columns, or number of rows. I'm sorry, the number of rows that, that get uh, uh, updated, and then we can display that in the message box. So let's try that one more time. So now that we have this, let's change this from Joe to John and let's create another record here it says Michael go mid at email.com so we updated two records right we updated John and we updated we, we created a new one called Michael and then we click update and then we actually have a pop-up that comes up and says two records updated okay well that's it um, I am gonna um, I'm gonna create a few a few other ones uh, not using the data grid but actually using uh, separate text boxes so I hope I hope this was helpful subscribe and uh, ask me questions I'll answer as many as I can thank you thank you for watching bye